I've got a lot of time to make up for in my gay journey through life because one of the things that I feel honestly I missed out on when I was younger was just being able to share my feelings about boys with the people in my life because it was always this shameful secret. It was just bubbling on the inside, all the angst. So today I thought, let's just make up for lost time. I would like to lay out a timeline of my complete emotional romantic journey in the ultimate Dan's gay crush tier list. <laughs> Ooh, yes. <laughs> Um, if you don't know how this works, we've got uh, A to F, it's like school grades. S is the top shelf, F is the bottom, that's the best of the best. I am going to go from my first ever feelings to my current degenerate fantasies, and you all get to judge my taste level. But this isn't about what you think, this is about how compatible they would be with me, and whether, oh, I thought I have a crush on them, is it a good idea? No. So, are you ready? Okay. First up, Aladdin. <laughs> Okay, taste, taste. <laughs> the whole thing with mm, all the Disney things is, did I enjoy this as Disney intended, putting myself in Aladdin's shoes next to Jasmine? No, no, I wanted to be Jasmine on the magic carpet <laughs> with Aladdin. Obviously, there's pre and post lamp Aladdin, because post lamp S, easy. But hey, what are we working with? We got Fez, monkey. He would steal bread for you. Okay, that's someone you can count on. What would you give Aladdin? S, okay, okay, um, we need to leave room for S. Strong A for Aladdin, good star, okay. Next up, Tigger. Um, <laughs> whoa, what, no, 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 oi, shut up, it's romantic. This is just about young feeling. I watched a lot of Winnie the Pooh as a kid and the Hundred Acre Woods is a scary place. They got heffalumps, woozles, and you know, Sorry. some <laughs> rabbits. And maybe it was my furry awakening, we'll never know. But let's think about it. He's kind, he's positive, bouncy, he's got a hard tail. That's always quite enjoyable. <laughs> Oi, I don't know what you're saying there. What would you give Tigger? Yeah. Uh, C, whoa! <laughs> Kick him out. No, that's fine, uh, I'll give him a B for bouncy. Okay, next, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> whoa! What? Um, I thought this was a place of acceptance, hello. <laughs> Guys, he, it's anthro, anthropomorphic. He's wearing trousers. He's not an animal, okay? <laughs> okay, wait, no. He is literally just a bandicoot, isn't he? There's no other way, okay. <laughs> but he's wearing shoes. Dogs can't wear shoes. No, wait, dogs, dogs can wear shoes and trousers. Okay, no, bipedal, that's it. If it stands on two legs, you can fuck it. That's the rule, that's how it works. No, that's how it works. <laughs> Dan, Dan Howell, 2022, you can fuck penguins. That's what I'm saying. Uh, let's give him a, a B for Bandicoot. Okay, yes, my knight in shining armor. When I was younger, I went to one of those Renaissance fair things, you know, where they do medieval reenactments, and they had a jousting display. And I was there, I was like 11 or something, stood at the end of the field. This guy finished an epic joust, you know. He pulled off his helmet and it was a teen boy with long blonde hair. And he rode past me, helmet in his arm, and just looked at me with his hair blowing in the wind. And that is what turned me gay, that moment. <laughs> Honestly, I was so spellbound that I thought about him for months, for years, but... What, how do we feel about the knight in shining armor trope? Are we kind of over that as a society? We don't need them to save us. Also, athletic. No, definitely C. It's a C. Next, Bradley from S Club. Yeah. <laughs> if any Americans are watching this, goated pop group, okay? You had to be there. Bradley, he can swing, apparently. He could sing, break dance, act, quadruple threat. What would you give Bradley from S Club? S S, S, simp, that's S for simp for all of you. No, I mean, I, he's way too cool. I'm a disgusting nerd. It's not about him, it's about me. And for me, it's a B, Snape. <laughs> Mix, a lot of people are like, who? A lot of people are like, yeah. <laughs> not Professor Snape, young angsty Snape from the Half-Blood Prince, okay, you get me? Because when I read that, I was angsty as fuck, okay? You don't understand, and I was just thinking, what if I was at school with young Snape? And this wasn't one of those situations where I was like, he's so dark, I could save him. No, if I was with him, it would be toxic as fuck. 
It would be a dark wallet. We would spiral dramatically. I would become a Death Eater unironically. It would be a complete disaster. So I know you all like it, but no, this is for me, and it is a D. Next, we have Ewan McGregor and Nicole Kidman from Moulin Rouge. Now, some boys said, my favorite movie is Jurassic Park. I was like, I like Moulin Rouge. Gay. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> Should have saw that coming, shouldn't I? But this isn't Ewan McGregor and Nicole Kidman, because I know some lesbians here are probably like, Nicole. <laughs> no, it's Satine and Christian. Right, this guy, he was a mess, okay? He had no career prospects. He was useless. Honestly, I'm going to give him a C for Christian. And Satine, she had creepy British men trying to kill her. That would not be fun. I'll, I'll give her a C for consumption. Okay, next we have Titus. Oh yeah, you know him. Uh, he's the protagonist from a game called Final Fantasy X. He is um, a sports star from another dimension that was then made to save the world, cringe, I know. But, underwater football player and me, I thought he was hot, but let's be honest, he would bully me. He would have, if we went to school together, he'd be like, what is that? He would spit on me, I would cry, and I would still love him. But, uh, no, I don't think that's happening. I'll give him a B for Blitzball. And, wait, there was someone else in this game. There was a character called Lulu, who, as you can see, was literally the dream big titty goth girlfriend, okay? And she was, she's got the strap. Like, you, don't, you, she, you can see about 15 of them in her dress. I am confused by her to this day she could throw a fireball at me and I'd be like, thank you. Do it again. I'm feeling it. That is a strong S. That is taste. Not just pandering to the lesbians. That is actually taste. But uh, that wasn't it. Uh, th th there was someone else in this game. There was like a bodyguard for a summer. He was called Kimari. Um, and wait, wait, wait. I will bring you around, okay? Because look at how this guy was introduced in the game. Fuck yeah. <laughs> God, I'm so fucking hard right now. That's amazing. Um, so I'll give him an A for Furry Awakening. Next, Troy Bolton. Specifically, High School Musical 2. They say, you can't generalize. There's no such thing as a gay test. There is such thing as a gay test. The test is you ask someone what their favorite high school musical is. If they say one, straight. If they say two, gay. That's it. <laughs> Who's the best character? Gabrielle? No, Sharpay. Yes. Also correct. Um, but mm, think about it. For me, again, would he really be my friend? He wouldn't talk to me. I would just be crying in the corner somewhere. He plays golf. He wears polo shirts. We have nothing in common. I, I'm just going to give him a D tier. This isn't about him. It's about me. D for Dan is depressed. Next one. The first boy that I ever had a crush on. Um, this was in my school. I was like 13. And we were friends until one day I was like, I want more from this. Uh, he broke my heart. I thought I was actually in love. I thought I was in I wasn't. He was just the first person I knew. And therefore I was like, this must be love. Uh, if you don't know the story, basically he ghosted me for three years and then later I found out that he was actually gay the whole time but told everyone I knew not to tell me because I was cringe. Um, <laughs> true story. People are saying F, okay, wow. Dan Howell, Defense Force, he said, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. We need to save F for something truly degenerate. You don't know how low this can go. Oh, I'll put him in D. I'll put him in. I don't hate him. It's my fault. I should have been less annoying. Next, we have Keanu Reeves. Okay. Now, this might be an overrated opinion, but think about it. He gave us speed. He gave us Neo. He was in Bill and Ted, and he is nice, apparently. What are we going to give Keanu? As a, you know what? Fuck yeah. Straight ass with Keanu Reeves. And I will attempt to kick you in the chin if you have a problem with that, Gerard Way. Uh, you have no idea how fucking emo I was, okay? Someone said S+. We need a new tier for Gerard Way. 
I was a mess when I was 14, and this guy, he came out, I was sat there with socks on my arm, I was singing, I'm not okay, into my fat CRT monitor, looking on MySpace, his music saved my life. He occasionally kissed boys, and he was a vision, but before you get too excited, he's kind of short, so I'll put him on the second shelf. I'll give him an A, I'll give him an A. He can't reach S, he can't reach S, it's fine. Charlie is so cool, like, right. If you don't know, the OG British YouTuber. Uh, I've been in love with him for about 15 years. Uh, he knows this. <laughs> Very clear, there is an open invitation there. If he wants to just get married and just go off somewhere in Canada, hi, I'll get on a flight anytime. But think about it. This is the guy that made the video, I'm scared, that made me such a neurotic fuck on YouTube, okay? He is so reclusive that if me and him got together, we'd fucking fade out of existence. <laughs> we'd, we'd kiss and then just go, ah. <laughs> we'd get thanos instantly. So nothing personal, it's a C, because some people are just not meant to be, okay? Evan Peters. <laughs> uh, we, we could just do as a person, but this is a gay thing, so we're gonna do every character from American Horror Story. Okay, um, I know you had your hot topic moment, but F, okay. Uh, Asylum, B for butts, Coven, C for corpse. Uh, freak show, if you know, you know, A. <laughs> okay, uh, hotel, now nah, that's gonna be a D. Uh, Roanoke, C, uh, and then that, <laughs> F plus. Right, but Evan himself, what are we thinking? <laughs> the beautiful eruptions of parcel tongue from the audience tonight. <laughs> J.K. Rowling would be so offended to see what her fans have done with the place. It's an S. Okay, see, this is going well. I thought I lost you for a minute with the weird ones there, but we brought it back. Zabby Vaca. Um, <laughs> if you don't know, this was Russia's attempt at making a non-gay mascot for their FIFA World Cup in 2018. And the moment they released this heterosexual mascot, you know what the artists did on the internet? <clears throat> oh yeah, they did. I, <laughs> okay, Th there is a lot going on with that. We, we do not have time to unpack this. And clearly he's packing something else on that one on the left there. <laughs> ooh, ooh, what's this? I've noticed something. Um, but as amazingly erotic as he is, he's a football mascot. I'll give him a B for balls. It's only fair enough. Right, Manny Jacinto. Do you know who he is? Yeah, from The Good Place. There are some people in life that are just disgusting um, because they are so perfect. It makes you feel like a slug. Just a disgusting, worthless slime every time you there. And that's him, okay? He can dance, he can act. He has jaw bones that could cut the universe in half and destroy it instantly at any moment. What are we thinking? Yes! yes maybe, okay, but for me, is that cool? I'm gonna give him, mm, I'll, I'll give him an A. That's good, it's good. Uh, the red Eminem. <laughs> right. The green one! You don't see it. You don't see it. The green one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're like, the red I Eminem, mean, the green one. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you not see there's a certain arrogance that's kind of hot? Yeah. You kind of, you just want to be like, you're shouted out by the red Eminem &M sometimes. <laughs> just me. Also, do they eat Eminems in the adverts for Eminems? Are they cannibals? Yeah. I also feel like he probably voted for Trump. I, I don't know, I'm getting that energy. Is, is this as bad as it gets? I'm feeling, okay, fine. We have our first F, people. Get the fuck down there. Red M&M. <laughs> okay, uh, but no more weird ones, I promise. Uh, the AstraZeneca logo. <laughs> Just me? Do you, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you not see the inherent sexual energy of the AstraZeneca? That is clearly a man assuming some kind of position. No. I was watching these news when I was like, damn, I need to go in the other room. This is getting really cool. Um, well, you know, this is about me, not you, and I'm feeling very homophobically attacked. That is an A for me, I'm just gonna say. Um, and now we have a, a category which is about a philosophical question, which is, if you had a clone of yourself in front of you, would you fuck? Yeah. <laughs> One no, and a lot of people are like, yes, I've thought about this, it's good. Um, so I present a trio of people that have regularly been compared to me. Anthony Padilla, Liam Payne, and Will Bissett. Um So first up is Anthony, not to be weird, Anthony Padilla is sat right there. Uh, hi, uh, Anthony, this is not weird. This is not about you, this is about me, okay? So this, don't, this, this is not weird, we're, we're being objective, let's think about it. Right. 
talented, successful. Yeah, but like Anthony, he does exercise. What the fuck? That's <laughs> Also, we have the same hair, and instead of desperately trying to cover up, he's embraced the curls and has done something with it successfully. So, Anthony's basically just the genetically superior version of me. Uh, what do we, are we compatible? What did we do the last time we hung out? We ate burritos and got high, do you remember? That was it. It wasn't gay. Um, let's give Anthony an A, there you go. Good for you, Anthony, okay. <laughs> He did it. He did it. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you. A for ally. No. Um, <laughs> Liam Payne. How do we feel? <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers are trying to drag me into some mess right now. You're trying to get me killed in the streets. Okay, no. I, I'm just doing this because people said we kind of looked similar. Look, we all have bad weeks, okay? If he pushed me up against a wall and said he'd break my hand, I'd be like, okay, Liam. Okay. <laughs> You can break my other hand and my leg, and I'm okay with that. But it's kind of okay with the detail move on. Right, Wilbur Sirtz. Okay, yeah. Very popular right now. Got the whole Minecraft thing going. Also music. Very talented. But are we compatible? I don't play Minecraft. And that's like 90% of the iceberg, isn't it? Um, I don't want to start a drama with the equally terrifying Minecraft community. I'll give him a, a B for block. There we go. Okay. Um, and lastly, I need you to support me on this because this is the end, okay? So no matter what I say, you have to support me because this is about me being valid at the end of Pride Month, okay, Mr. Pringle. Um, no, no, show, okay, right, I have had it with you people. You do not get to sit there and judge me. This is a safe space for me. I would explore his tube and there is nothing that you can do about it. No, okay. Watch me fucking leave because you're a bit... His mustache would tickle you in all the right places. It would also free Pringles for life. It's a fucking S. I don't care. I don't care. This is authentically me, whether you like it or not. And I bet you regret coming here, but it is too late. You have enabled me. You have created a monster. And now I am once more released into the world. I am Dan and I am now free. This is your problem. Okay, bye. I apologize for nothing.